Hey guys, in this video, I have this portable uh, handheld system that was sent to me by Funny Root. It claims to have 768 games built in, and it's kind of modeled after like a um, Xbox controller, I guess, with the grips and everything. So this particular model I, I got doesn't really include anything other than, say, a manual. It's really a um, thin sheet of, you know, instructions, which you probably don't need. It didn't come with any batteries. Apparently you can power this by a LiPo battery or three AAAs. And looking at this unit, it actually looks pretty good. I mean, it's got this rubberized um, uh, material around it, so it feels really good. And uh, the D-pad is um, separated, sort of like a Nintendo Switch or a PlayStation 3 DualShock. And these are the buttons. And at the top you'll find the micro USB charger if you're using a LiPo and the on and off switch, which is right there. And over here, you'll see that I've already put in some AAA batteries. You need three of them, but you can use a LiPo battery as well. And uh, I'm going to turn this thing on and let you see it. It claims to have 788 games. The background music it uses is kind of loud and annoying, but um, you can turn it off with the sound button here. And uh, if you hit the start button, um, this, these are the games that are available. Most of these games I thought were gonna be like NES games, but they aren't. And if I scroll through this list of games here, you'll start seeing that they will start to um, repeat. So there aren't really 788 or whatever games it claims to have. It probably has like maybe 50 from my estimates. So I'm gonna choose a game here and you can tell the game is not very good. Um, a little disappointed because you know the actual unit itself in terms of the construction and the button layout and everything they are actually very good but the games that are included probably won't appeal to say an adult um, probably if you were five years old or something it would be fine but um, I think in terms of the game selection it's definitely a pass for me basically all these games that are included are very simple and they're equivalent to like the games you'd find in an old like uh, phone that had java or maybe a flash based game so they're very simple it's just too bad they weren't able to put some famicom or um, nes games in here because this system would be really good with this other than the built-in games i think the design of it is actually really good the rubberized grip it's really comfortable to hold. I do like the D-pad, the buttons. The analog stick isn't really an analog stick. It's more of a just a mirror of the D-pad. And the actual design of it is good. I would like to see maybe them taking this mold and then putting like say a BitBoy or an RS-97 in here. And it would be really awesome because it is very comfortable to hold. And I could see myself using this as a portable gaming device. But like I said, unfortunately, the software inside is not as good because it doesn't have games that would appeal to uh, us retro gamers. And uh, because of that, I would have to say this is definitely a pass. But if you're interested, I will have links to it in the description. Anyways, that's it for this video. Have a nice day and I will see you next time.